Okay, so uh, we're going to come in now. We've created our reference line, our reference planes in our site plan. So if I go to my site plan, you can see we have our reference planes. And what we want to create now are these four reference lines. So these are hosted on the top and bottom planes, the bridge north and the bridge south, and these are hosted on the bridge middle. So we're going to do the bridge middle first, and then we'll do the two sides. Okay, so there's this guy, and let's delete that. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go into a in-place mass, which is where we'll be able to divide those lines. So I'm just going to go to Architecture, Component, Model in Place, and I'm going to pick a mass. I'm going to click OK. And you may have a dialog box that says it's turning on the masses, the show mass. And that's OK, because in the massing in sight, there's an area where it shows all the masses, and that's what you want it to do. It's just being nice turning it on. I'm just going to name this BR01 for bridge 01. I hit Enter. And now it's going to send us into sketch mode, where we can draw our reference line across the across the, for the um, division lines for the bridge. So I want to draw from this area here down to this area here, because that's where the bridge is going to go. So I'm going to start with a, <clears throat> by setting my working plane, because I want to set it to that bridge middle, right? So I'm going to go to set, and I'm going to go to the pull down, and you want to pick whatever you name that middle bridge, and click OK. And so it'll set that plane current. If you want to show where the plane is, you can turn on the show, and it'll show you where it is in the current view. But it's not very helpful in a, you know, in this instance where we're in the, um, in a flat view. So I'm going to turn the show off. Let's turn the show off, and I'll go ahead and go to reference line, and I'm going to start a line. <clears throat> It's hosting on the bridge middle. I want this to say draw on work plane right here. So click that if it's not clicked. And then just come up, and I'm just going to draw a line maybe 12 feet to there. So I've got a line there. And you can see it appearing over here. Um, and then I want an arc. So I'm going to pick the start end radius arc. And I'm just going to do the end point over here on this other level. Right, and then it's going to let me set the height of the arc. So that would be our bridge, right? And then I'm going to go to line, and I'm going to come over here and just draw another 12 foot line out here. You could also, instead of using <clears throat> the mouse, you could just type in 12 and hit enter, and it'll do a 12 foot line. Okay, so I'm going to hit escape twice. So you can see that that line is over here, right? Now I want a copy of that about 16 feet above it, so I can do that very easily in my section. So if I pick that and I copy it up, there it is, a little teeny tiny copy. And I'll copy that up 16 feet, right? Now what I want is I want one on those other two reference planes in the site plan, the, the north and the south one. Now there's a way to get that done that's a little easier than trying to retrace these. So I'm going to go to my 3D view. I'm going to hit set. And in this pull down, I'm going to pick the bridge north, right? So it's going to make that bridge north current. I'll turn off the show, right? And then what I'm going to do is go to reference but instead of drawing it, I'm going to use a pick line because we already have lines here because I want them to be the same. So I'm going to hover over this end and tap my tab key. I'm not going to hold it down. Just tap it until it highlights a possible selection. Then I'm going to left click, and it's going to project that line onto that plane. Then I'm just going to come up here, and we'll flip to bridge south, and I'll do the same thing. Tap my tab key, and it'll flip it onto there. So that works quite well. It's a good method for getting different lines to different places. So these two, I want to be lower than that middle one. So I want them in the middle, so I want them like eight feet. 
So I'm going to pick this one and pick this one and come over to my um, section view and left click and then just move those down eight feet. So they're in the middle, right? So that's just a really easy way to get those in line. So when we get back, um, we'll divide these lines. One thing I did want to uh, mention before we do that is that if I close this mass, I won't be able to see any of this. So it would be very difficult for me to pick it and get back into it. So I would recommend putting like a model line or something um, that is visible once you finish the mass. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I go to model and I just pick a line right here and um, I'm going to activate. I'll just come in here and draw a line right here in the middle. Right. So you can see it over there. You can see it over here. And then I'm going to hit modify to stop it. So it's just this model line right here. And once you get some more stuff in here, you can erase it. But once you hit finish mass right here, it's the only thing you'll be able to see. Right. And you need to be able to see something to pick it and edit in place and the lines will come back. The reason we use the reference lines is because they'll disappear when we hit finish mass. So we don't really see the scaffolding. We'll just see the modeling. Okay. All right. So when we come back, we'll start with that. All right.